Hollins. Hallie, Heidi. Hi. I, Heidi. Hi. I, 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 also, Cynthia Bradford, hello. Uh, Cheshire, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm getting it right? Shesh Chesera. Chesera. Well, I phonetically spelled it for you, Frito. I, I, I can't <laughs> get names, man. <laughs> Adrian uh, Dobson as well. Good morning. Uh, these are the leads for uh, the theater company's presentation of 9 to 5, which will be debuting uh, Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock, and then Saturdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. Allie, what are you, uh, your ensemble? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you were introducing the leads, that's definitely not me. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in the ensemble, uh -huh. and I also have a character. Yes. Her name is Missy. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So credit it. Yeah. Credit it. All right. So it's not like girl in background, but it's a credit. <laughs> Doing some roles. But you know, the whole cast is really awesome, and it's just been a really fun experience going through and, and being a part of the uh, the theater company, and so. We have a show coming up really soon, and so I brought all my friends here to tell you guys all about it. Which I, I, I'm one of the people that, uh, I, I'm, I'm aware of 9 to 5, or I have never seen the movie 9 to 5, which this is the musical version is based on the movie. Correct. This is all the music's by Dolly Parton, um, so it's just a musical version. So what is the, the I guess the crux of the story is y'all have a, uh, an evil boss. Right, so it's three w working women. Um, their boss is a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Perv. Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And they they plot and fantasize about murdering him. Um, but then, <laughs> through a series of unfortunate events, they accidentally um, don't tell me what happens. <laughs> don't tell me what happens to him and have to hold him hostage. And in doing so, they sort of rework the office to be what they want it to be and to be a healthy environment. Um, but then he escapes, and that oh well, now you've told me <laughs> everything that happened. It's so. like horrible bosses, but uh, with uh, uh, but from back in the day, right? And all about you know, come women up and, and being powerful and yes. strong and everything that the late seventies and early eighties was all about. We need more women. of that in this town. Yes, <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I know. I think this is good. Don't give her any ideas. Yeah, don't give me any ideas. <laughs> I think this is a fantastic show. Lenny, this coffee is very sweet. <laughs> Keep That's drinking. That's because I have poison. Keep it. drinking. I've got some spare rat poison if you need some, Lenny. <laughs> I, I bring my own. Don't worry. Uh, all right, so lots of musical uh, uh, numbers in this, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, are y'all trained vocalists, or is it just something y'all have always done? Or I mean, because you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think of a lot of. I mean, I know people can sing, and I know people can sing locally, but it always strikes me as something that's probably very intimidating to do to, to get up in front of, like, a bunch of people you know uh, and then uh, go ahead and, and throw some vocal uh, work out there. I think a lot of us, uh, at this point, it's mostly just through practice. I know Chesra and I have been at the theater. I've been there for about 11 years now. Chesra, you've been there for 12, 13? 12, so it's it's Goodness. just repetition. We've been there for a long time. And Cynthia? I've done shows since I was seven. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. Seasoned. Um, and we have a really awesome uh, vocal director for the show who actually helps out quite a bit. Um, he has a local vocal studio in town, but Joseph Cole um, mm -hmm. has really sort of helped fill in the gaps where we're either not as familiar or not as experienced. Now, I have to say that uh, I've seen a show at the theater company, and I was very pleasantly surprised that costumes and the sets and everything they have over there look Slick and professional. Yeah. I went in going, College Station Theatre, this will be <laughs> LOLs. And, uh, I actually can't remember what the show was called. Christy Petty, one of my friends from the Village Cafe, yeah, was yeah. singing. and uh, It was a Greek-based... A funny thing happened on the way that, to the forum. Yes, that, that was, was the it, one. Yeah. And, the, and I was like, oh my gosh, the costumes and the sets and everything look really professional and very polished. And so if you think... You know, College Station Theater, forget it, and you haven't been. You really should go along. I think, I, think you'll... I think a lot of people really just don't don't. Uh, maybe they aren't aware of it, but yeah, they they do amazing amazing productions, and uh, it, it's a lot of people that uh, that you know uh, or know of at least, and, mm -hmm. and they put together a great product. I, I, I know uh, you I, I see. I get to work with Allie all the time, so I kind of know that she's you know y'all are up there rehearsing and then doing you know tv shoots and different things all the time i mean it's, it's a lot of work goes into there's a whole lot of work right and it's I, i'm super excited to see this uh and you can get tickets online 
at thetheatercompany.com. Uh, I'm assuming it, it, at the door too, or is it just online? You can also get them at the door. Um, the box office opens an hour before showtime, um, and you can also purchase them at the Arts Council if you want to get them in person. Okay. Now, can I ask them early? Dolly? Yeah. <laughs> Not to confuse everyone. There we go. You're yeah. playing Dolly. You're playing yes. the girl who Dolly played in the. Yes. Uh, are you doing your own vo vocal thing, or are you trying to emulate <laughs> the voice of Dolly Parton, or what? Not what? really emulating the voice of Dolly Parton, but definitely going as country as I possibly can. As country and <laughs> This is like this is like if you were asking Daniel Day Lewis <laughs> if he was trying to <laughs> play some other dude. Who, who was playing play Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln? It's not it like is the that. same thing. That song, Working 925, is such an iconic song, and I'm just wondering if she's going to put her own. <laughs> we actually all spin. three of us sing a verse of that song, so we each kind of get to do our own take of it. Right. But yeah. hopefully, and necessarily, I will be hopefully uh, unrecognizable. Right. <laughs> See, that, what I was trying to convey was that... You thought I was being rude. As an, <laughs> as an actor or actress, I assume you try to take... And, and you're, you're oh, an actress. Which of us is the actor, Frida? <laughs> Remind me again which of us... Wait, Don't you, Do you <laughs> not take a part and then try to, like, make it your own? Yes, like, you do. Like, kind of flush every other version of it out of yes, your head. Yes, you do. And, you know, it's like Kate um, Blanchett said about playing the how oh, and take me flying. What's her name? Catherine Hepburn. Right. Yeah. You you try. You don't try to do an impression. You try to become the character yourself. But I'm just wondering if the goal here is to try to become a Dolly Parton esque. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I, good, I, I get what you're saying. A good amount of pressure on all three of us. Yeah. Every one of our roles. Anytime somebody asks, Oh, who are you playing? I usually have to say, well, I'm Judy, the Jane Fonda character. Yeah, yeah, right. and these are all right. iconic There's women. There's sort of a fine line between, like, sort of holding up what people know and sort of creating your own thing. Your own character. Expectation. Right. I see. Yeah. Mm. Well, buy tickets for this. We're going to be there Saturday night, uh, and uh, I, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, shows Friday and Saturdays at uh, 7 p.m., and then Saturday and Sunday. Uh, they also have 2 p.m. shows, so you can go during the day. Uh, two weekends, this weekend and next weekend, so June 14th through the 16th, uh, June 21st through the 23rd, and tickets are available for 9 to 5 at thetheatercompany.com. The Arts Council or just swing up to the door, uh, and, and good luck to, to all of you. Can't Break a leg. Can't Thanks. wait to see how this Thank goes. You. All right, uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys.